I've got the quarantine tank set up and I've got a few new additions to my fish family. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I've got. I've been wanting to get a few new fish for some of my systems and well, let me tell you what I've got. So right off the bat, you can see the uh, Bangai Cardinal fish. That's these little silver and black fish. I've got three of those. These are tank raised uh, Bangai Cardinals. I've never kept these fish before, so this is the first time for me. Uh, so I ended up picking up three of them and I got three of the smaller ones uh, that they had in the store. And these guys are going to be going into my uh, 20 gallon tank, the Rico's Nano Tank uh, Challenge Tank, because I've got the Barnacle Blennies in there and they are awesome, but they all pretty much hang out on the sand bed. So I wanted to get some fish that were going to um, swim out in the open water. And these guys pretty much do that all day long. So that's why I picked up uh, these fish. And like I said, there's three of them. So there's two right there third one's down there so so far they're looking pretty good um, looking nice and healthy and I've been trying to figure out which types of foods that they like um, so far they don't really seem to like flake food or pellet food but they are eating frozen food so they're liking the frozen brine shrimp and the frozen mysis so that's good and you know hopefully I could train them to you know start eating the flake food because that just makes it easier to feed them but um anyway yes yeah, so they're eating uh, frozen food right now and then the other fish that you see in there is one that i had never really seen before now uh, that is called a square tail bristle tooth tang and i wanted to get a small tang for my 40 breeder frag system because i need something that's going to eat eat algae because I'm starting to get some hair algae in there and I originally bought uh, that little Ebly angelfish uh, to take care of the algae and he does pick at it but he's not, not doing nearly as good of a job as I would like him to do so I wanted to get a small tang uh, that you know would possibly be a better worker in there so uh, that's why I picked this guy up and I've been keeping my eyes open for a small tang this guy's pretty small he's probably I don't know two and a half inches maybe three inches right now uh, so he's still a little baby and you know I plan to put him into the frag tank and you know, that's where he'll, he's going to end up um, it's a pretty interesting little fish it looks very similar to a coal tang uh, but if you notice on the body coal tanks have lines across their body and this guy has spots um, that's pretty much the major difference. He's, I think, in the same family as the Cole Tang and the Tamini Tang. And um, same care requirements and everything. So they don't get super large. Um, so that's that's a good thing. They're, you know, some of the smaller Tangs you can get. Um, but yeah, I thought he was pretty cool. Uh, I'd never seen one before, so when I saw him, I, uh, I picked him up. And he, so far, he's still a little bit shy uh, around the camera and everything, but he's starting to get used to me. And he seems to be eating flake, pellet, frozen, even some nori, so he's not having any trouble uh, adjusting to the food I've been giving him, so that's good. And so far, all these guys look healthy, so that's another good sign, but I'm going to leave them in here for observation for a while. Um, right now, I am not treating them with anything. I just kind of wanted to get them in here with as little stress as possible and just get them eating and just, you know, check them out for a little while to see if I needed to do anything else. And if I do, well, I've got some options. I'll either do, well, I was planning to probably do hyposalinity, um, you know, depending on if it looks like they need it or not, uh, which, you know, I've used copper in the past and I've had mixed results with that. It can be pretty stressful on your fish, so we'll see. But um, yeah, so let me show you the setup I've got. So for the setup, this is just a 20 gallon long aquarium. I've got a glass lid on it so the fish can't jump out. For filtration, it's an AquaClear 70 hang on the back filter. Uh, it's got a sponge filter and a little media bag, uh, which had been in the sump, the frag tank for the last you know month or so. 
So that's all biologically active. So that's what's uh, you know doing my filtration for me. Uh, there's a heater in there, and another little circulation pump. Just you know keep the water moving for these guys, and just a couple of uh, plumbing fittings uh, that they could hide in. And that's it. You know you don't really need a whole lot for a quarantine tank, so I just have this set up temporarily for as long as I need it, and then when I'm done, it'll be broken down. And, you know, I don't need a light or anything. I mean, it is good to have light so you could check out the fish, but I've got these guys, you know, basically sitting here at the windowsill. Um, and you know, I get plenty of sunlight to check them out so I can see if there's anything going on with these guys. And, uh, yeah, it is on a radiator, which is, you know, a big no-no, but I haven't had the heat on, so uh, I haven't been having to run the heat in this room, so <laughs> the radiator's not on, but... Yeah, definitely, you wouldn't typically do that because you don't want to cook your fish, but in this instance, it's okay because it's not on. So, um, yeah, that's it for the new additions. I'm pretty excited. I hope all of these guys come through nice and healthy and make it into their tanks, and uh, let me show you where they're going to be going. All right, so the little bristle tooth tang, square tail bristle tooth tang will be going into here into this 40 breeder um, and I've been picking out by hand a bunch of the algae but you can see in there there's still plenty in there which I can't get to well I can but not easily but hopefully the fish will go in there and take care of that for me um, so yeah this is where he's going to be going and where he'll be able to you know grow up a little bit and if it turns out that you know he outgrows this tank well I've got a bigger tank he can go in so if that tang outgrows the uh, 40 breeder, well, he could come in here and join the big boys, but it's going to be some time before he does. And yeah, I don't uh, look forward to that day if it comes, because some of these fish can be downright mean when it comes to adding a new fish in there, but everybody seems to be getting along just fine now. It always just takes a little bit of adjustment, but yeah, so I, I you know, call off the tang police. I know that those fish, they say 70 gallons and up. And trust me, I don't keep fish in smaller tanks than they should be. So if he grows, outgrows it, he can come into here. And then the Bangai Cardinals, um, well, this is where they're destined to go. So this is also a 20 gallon long. And I've got my little barnacle blennies in there. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see them. But I wanted some fish that would be able to, you know, swim out in the open water. And again, um, if it's too crowded in there, or you know, if they outgrow this tank, uh, they'll be going into the 180. So as you can see, these little barnacle blennies like to hide out in their little spots. Um, so they've each got their own little um, places that they call home, and you know, they don't really come out unless it's feeding time. They'll dart out, grab their food, and head back. So there's two of them there. There's another one of them right there. And where are the other guys? Should be two more in here somewhere. If I could find them. Oh, here's one. He is, just saw him. Oh, there he is. Down there on the sand. And I don't know if you can see that guy poking his head out back there. So yeah, so there's five of them in here. Um, and I'm gonna add those three Bangai Cardinals who can then, you know, be able to swim up in the open water. I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, that's the plan for those guys. So those are my plans for the new fish. Uh, hopefully everything goes according to plan and uh, I can get these guys into their new homes. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for this update. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, you know, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.